I think the the clustering illusion or the clustering bias, you know, is this idea that um, people see patterns in sets of data that may or may not actually exist because certain data items might be kind of clustered together. There are things that might um, actually find uh, find themselves kind of in uh, in the sort of same area, um, and then people get sort of distracted by them, right? And think that that's, mm -hmm. um, that therefore there must be a pattern because right. certain things are kind of clustering together. And sometimes that clustering happens for people um, like it also connects to other kind of availability heuristic. Mm -hmm. If I see um, this unusual example in recent times, but if I see two car accidents happen in a short period of time, I might be inclined to believe that car accidents are on the rise yeah. because I didn't see a bunch, any car accidents. All of a sudden I see two car accidents. Now car accidents are a thing, right? Or these um, smash and grab um, retail thefts that have made the news uh, a bunch lately, right? Is the data there that they're on the rise or is it just because people are taking things, videos yeah. and you're, right, you're seeing a bunch of them. So therefore there must be a pattern and things are happening, right? So when presenting uh, that kind of data to people, you know, you, you might want to call out, like I just did with the smash and grab, you might want to call out the clustering effect and point to it and actually say, hey, there's this thing that there's this data set, but we might be biased here because we're not clear if there's actually a pattern. So often that's, it's, it's used in a um, kind of de-escalatory right. um, way.